You may have heard about monsters under the bed, or maybe you've had a nightlight in your room as a kid because you were convinced the boogeyman lived in your closet, but those monsters were imaginary. Or were they? Real monsters do exist in the most unusual of places, like ancient caves with no light, or the lush, luxurious lands of overpaid criminals, and would you believe even underwater volcanoes? Heck, we found monsters hiding in a bunch of bananas and a whole island where dragons live. You have to see it to believe it. Here are the 15 deadliest monsters found in the middle of nowhere. They actually have, like most centipedes, oh, they just run over my arm. <laughs> Number 15. Anaconda in a Power Plant It looks like something straight out of a cheesy action B-movie, but this monstrous anaconda was found by a construction worker in Brazil and it was called the biggest snake in history. They all say that, don't they? Although the figures are unconfirmed, it's said to weigh around 880 pounds, is 32 feet in length and measures a chunky 3.2 feet in diameter. Big is an understatement. The video shows the snake, which was found on a building site in Altamira, open a cave as part of some building work near the Belo Monte Dam. Official records for the largest snake remain hazy. Nevertheless, this corner of South America is well versed when it comes to these giant serpents. There have been incredible amounts of green anacondas growing up to 29 feet. According to National Geographic, the largest snake of all time once lived in South America 58 million years ago. The tropics of Colombia were home to the 40-foot Titano boa. Now that's a sizable slithering monster. Before we move on, if you don't smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell today, it, the clown, will appear under your bed tonight. Number 14, Creatures of the Movio Cave. These monsters only live in the dark. Scared yet? In 1986, workers in Romania were testing the ground to see if it was suitable for a power plant when they stumbled across the Movio Cave. Despite the dark and dangerous gases, the caves were crawling with life. An incredible 48 species were identified, including 33 found nowhere else in the world. But within this harsh environment, scientists have so far identified 48 species. Among the creatures are an array of spiders, water scorpions, pseudoscorpions, centipedes, leeches, and isopods. Most of the creatures in this cave have no vision and lack pigment. After all, who needs sight, or to be pretty, in the pitch darkness? They're also, on the whole, a spindly bunch with extra long limbs and antenna that help them navigate in the darkness. However, this still doesn't explain how the animals in the cave survive. Tests have shown that the water flowing in does not contain any food particles, yet all of the species play a distinct role within the cave's insular ecosystem. It's a delicate balance of life and death as the leeches prey on worms and the shrimp and crustaceans become lunch for the spiders and water scorpions. The team has discovered a thoroughly unique and thriving biotope. Number 13. Pablo Escobar's Hippos Corrupt crime kingpin Pablo Escobar imported four hippos from America back in 1981 for a private zoo at his hacienda in Colombia. No palace is complete without hippos, right? But after his drug empire collapsed, the hippos escaped and have been breeding in the wild ever since, now numbering 80 individuals or more. And now, they're thriving in the country's river ecosystems. Scientists even suspect that river habitats may benefit from the presence of these non-native hippos, with the large herbivores feeling an ecological niche that has been vacant in the region for thousands of years. This means that hippos may graze on riverbanks in a manner that echoes the habits of extinct llamas, but may distribute nutrients via poop in a manner that is more similar to another extinct river animal, the researchers reported. But for now, the ecological impact of Escobar's hippos is still largely unknown. But some experts have suggested that the hippos aren't such a boon for the environment. In fact, they may upset the balance of Colombian ecosystems because they produce significant qualities of dung that can affect the water's oxygen levels. Now they're terrorizing parts of Colombia, even invading towns at night. Number 12. The Bear Moat The Chesky Krumlov Castle is not your typical Czech castle. Not only is it more than 700 years old and gigantic, 
the second largest in the area, it has long enjoyed the formidable protection of having several brown bears living in the moat surrounding the castle. The castle was constructed in 1240 and passed down through the powerful Rosenberg family up through the 16th century. Bears have long been part of the family and they started living in the moat around 1707. Bears also make an appearance on the family's coat of arms, holding up shields. Today, there are four bears living in the protective moat between the castle's first and second courtyard. More recently, the moat was reconstructed to meet the modern requirements of a comfortable environment for the animals there, including trees, a lagoon, and toys. Just what every bear needs. Every year at Christmas and on the occasion of the bear's birthdays, the castle operators organize bear festivals. During these occasions, the moat is festively decorated and there are piles of presents and food for the bears. Number 11. Sharks in a Volcano How can this even be possible? Several species of shark, ranging from reef sharks, hammerheads, and scalloped hammerheads, have made an expected appearance in one of the world's most active submarine volcanoes. The shocking discovery was made in 2015 at the Solomon Islands' Kavachi Volcano in a National Geographic documentary. Scientists have since dubbed the marine volcano the Sharkano. Stunned marine experts found the hammerhead sharks and rays drifting in Kavachi, an active volcano off the coast of New Guinea. The volcano last erupted in 2014, so the crew were shocked to find not just life, but large carnivores circling its turbulent base. Ocean engineer Brennan Phillips said, the idea of there being large animals like sharks hanging out and living inside the caldera of the volcano conflicts with what we know about Kavachi, which is that it erupts. Exactly why sharks inhabit the area remains one of the world's enduring marine mysteries. Scientists believe the sharks must have mutated to survive in a hot and acidic environment. We're hoping a film version of this story, like Sharknado, might be in the works. Number 10. Cave of the Hanging Snakes If you thought the premise of snakes on a plane was absurd, check this out. In what we can only imagine is one of the creepiest caves in Mexico, snakes have adapted to a world of complete darkness and developed an ingenious way of capturing their evening meal. The yellow-red rat snake is a small forest snake that normally hunts rodents, lizards, and other small animals on the ground. However, in a remote cave tucked away in the jungles of the Yucatan, these snakes have developed a creepy and incredible new way of life. The Cave of the Hanging Snakes is actually known as the Bat Cave by the locals of the nearby village of Cantimo. This is because the cave is home to swarms of small bats that can often appear as thick as a frantic leathery cloud. In order to take advantage of this delicious flying rodent population, a population of snakes that has taken to living in the ceiling and high up on the walls of the cave, the limestone rock in the cave is porous, allowing the snake to hide. When they sense the bats are on the move, the snakes slowly emerge from their hiding spots and strike catching the bats in midair with their mouths as they fly past. For the snakes, it's about as close to mealtime delivery as it can get. Number 9. Troglaraptor So if you don't like spiders, maybe look away for a moment. Just try and not have a peek at these creepy crawly critters, the Troglaraptor. It's a cave-dwelling spider with peculiar talon-like claws hanging upside down from strands of spider silk legs dangling in the air and discovered in a cave in southern Oregon. It's big, the size of a half dollar, and it uses its long claws to snap and pin down its prey, hence its name, which means cave robber. And it's so unlike any other spider that scientists had to create a new genus and family to contain it. The new discovery marks the first time any North American spider species previously unknown to science has required its own family since 1890. The Pacific Northwest, with its old-growth redwood forests and lush climate, harbors a host of ancient animals. The tailed frog, the mountain beaver, the redwood trees themselves. These are species with primitive traits, known as relicts. This spider, too, is a relict a representative of a primitive spider lineage surviving in the Pacific Northwest. Just stay in your cave, please, and thank you. Number 8. Ocean's Deadliest Snail Indonesia is full of quote-unquote monsters, and this snail takes the cake. The geographic cone is also known by the name Anbonia, a name derived from its discovery in the Gulf of Anbonia in Indonesia. The fairly large cone is the most dangerous of the cone shell species, and the results of this snail's sting could be your doom. 
The geographic cone is the most venomous of the 500 known cone snail species, and several human deaths have been attributed to them. Their venom, a complex concoction of hundreds of different toxins, is delivered via a harpoon-like tooth propelled from an extendable proboscis. There's no anti-venom for a cone snail sting, and treatment is limited to merely keeping victims alive until the toxins wear off. Ironically, among the compounds found in cone snail venom are proteins, which, when isolated, have enormous potential as pain-killing drugs. Research shows that certain of these proteins target specific human pain receptors and can be up to 10,000 times more potent than morphine. Good thing snails are slow. You might just have a shot to escape this super slow snail. Any of those components could be useful to humans. The potential is huge. Number 7. Sharks in a Basement It's not hard to imagine monsters living in a basement, but sharks in an outdoor pool? Trapped in the basement of somebody's house? Get out of here. But that's exactly what went down. Recently, officers from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation carried out a search warrant at home about 90 minutes north of New York City to see if the home may be harboring illegal wildlife. And you know it was. Upon their arrival, authorities found seven live sandbar sharks, two dead leopard sharks, and a dead hammerhead shark in a 15-foot above-ground pool located in the basement of a home. But why? Investigators said that the homeowner was likely breeding the sharks to sell to private collectors. However, the sharks are a federally protected species, and it's illegal to own them anywhere on the East Coast unless you have a special permit. Experts said that the sharks were one to three years old and could grow up to nine feet long, which is much too big to be kept as an exotic and illegal pet. Officials used nets to capture the sharks and remove them from the pool. Then the animals were carefully transported to the Long Island Aquarium where they could safely be quarantined and nursed back to health. The homeowner had not been charged with a crime, however, but probably should have been. Number 6. Brazilian Wandering Spider Finding a nest of spiders and a bunch of bananas is terrifying at the best of times, but when there's risk that could be a nest of a deadly Brazilian wandering spider set loose in your house, terror levels can go through the charts. Unexpectedly, a local couple discovered a surprise when a bunch of bananas in their home were found to be harboring a small nest of the spiders. Brazilian wandering spiders are a deadly breed that can kill people in a matter of hours, though these spiders are known to nest on the ground and not in trees. A grocery store spokesperson said these incidents are extremely rare and that its bananas are washed and sprayed before they're transported and every single piece of fruit is manually checked for quality and stowaways. Over a billion bananas are sold every year and the chance of finding a spider is incredibly low, but very occasionally one hangs around to give us a fright. The Guinness Book of World Records considers the Brazilian wandering spider the most venomous in the world. Hundreds of bites are reported annually, but a powerful anti-venom prevents deaths in most cases. Maybe skip the bananas then. Spiders don't like bacon and eggs, do they? Number 5. Nile Crocodile Dens You're probably not going to want to take a dip in the River Nile anytime soon, especially after you see what swims in there. It's big and it's scary. The Nile crocodile is native to freshwater habitats in Africa, such as lakes, rivers, swamps, and marshlands, and they modify their habitat by digging dens, usually with their snouts and feet, into which they retreat from adverse conditions such as temperature extremes. Huge dens, and these dens can be 40 feet deep. Can you imagine finding a crocodile at the bottom of a hole? These hole-digging beasts are the largest of the African crocodilian, averaging 30 feet in length, but reportedly reach over 35 feet in rare instances. There are dubious reports of 40 feet crocodiles having existed, but these are hard to verify. Imagine what their dens must have looked like. We doubt it's a cozy place to hang out in, unless you're a croc. They're known to attain insane weights of up to 1,500 pounds. You wouldn't think a creature like this would be very good at digging, considering its shape and short limbs, but they do quite a good job. Number 4. Crocodile and Luxury Swimming Pool Picture it. It's you and your partner's anniversary, and after a romantic night out, you go for a late night dip in the pool, and a crocodile tries to eat you. A couple's late night rendezvous in an African lodge's pool nearly turned into a bloodbath after a crocodile suddenly jumped in 
terrifying closed circuit television footage from Zimbabwe shows the six foot crocodile creep up on the unaware victims between the patio sun chairs. It then lunges into the water, immediately snapping at the bikini clad woman who desperately begins fighting it off. The man quickly jumps out of the pool, leaving the woman to fend off the huge reptile alone as it splashes around underwater. Luckily, she managed to avoid being forced deeper into the water and furiously paddles back to the shallow end. By that time, her partner has some sense and returns to the poolside to try and distract the animal. The woman manages to clamber out and gets to her feet despite having suffered several bites. Just not love bites from a boyfriend. He couldn't get out fast enough. But despite the croc shock, she seems cool as a cucumber. Her quick acting kept the crocodile at bay. Number 3. Desert Foxes the last thing you'd expect to find in a dry, deadly desert would be something as cute as these little guys. Hardly monsters though, desert foxes are species of foxes that are either native to the desert regions or have made their homes there, like fennec foxes, bat-eared foxes, corzak foxes, and more. They've evolved to handle the harsh desert conditions. That's because the fox is one of the most adaptable animals on earth. Living in the desert has caused them to change their behavior and their biology to survive in places that most animals would steer clear of. They not only survive there, but they also flourish. However, the fennec fox seems to be the only carnivore living in the Sahara Desert able to survive without free water. They've some unique talents and distinctive features to aid their survival. Their kidneys are adapted to restrict water loss. Their extensive burrowing may cause the formation of dew, which can then be consumed, and they will receive moisture from the food that they eat. Plus, their thick fur helps insulate them from cold desert nights. Fun fox fact? Fennec foxes also have thick fur on the soles of their feet, which insulate against the hot sand of the desert. Number 2. The Komodo Dragon Island Komodo dragons, owners of razor-sharp teeth and a venomous bite, are native to only one tiny corner of the globe. Tourists have flocked to see them on the Komodo Dragon Island in Indonesia. The island is home to the world's largest lizards and is a popular tourist attraction. The Indonesian government is heavily promoting the picturesque region as a tourist destination, building infrastructure to support the increase in visitor numbers. However, government officials shut off the island to visitors from January 2020 for the year. The move follows the theft of 41 Komodo dragons by an alleged smuggling ring where they were sold abroad for $35,000 each. During the island's closure, a conservation program will attempt to increase the lizard population, which is currently at around 5,000. Authorities in Indonesia want to hand Komodo Island back to the dragons. They want to close it to mass tourism and expel the inhabitants who've lived alongside the Earth's largest lizards for generations. The dragons certainly have more sightseers than they did when European explorers first visited the island in the early 20th century. There were approximately 176,000 visitors to Komodo National Park last year. Number 1. Golden Poison Dart Frog how could something this cute be so deadly? You'll see. Discovered in 1973, the golden poison frog is one of the largest of the poison dart frogs and it can grow to over 2 inches in size. Its bright color can vary especially geographically but is either golden orange, golden yellow, or pale green. And this funky frog is famous for being one of the most poisonous animals in the world and a single frog carries 1900 micrograms of poison. One golden poison frog harbors enough poison to kill 10 grown men, making these frogs perhaps the most poisonous animals alive. The poison is so strong that it was used by Choco Indians to poison their hunting darts and may have once been used in warfare. The Indians would rub the tip of a dart along the back of a live frog. Once dry, the poison would remain active on the dart for up to a year. The back of a single frog would provide enough poison for two or three darts. The frog was unharmed and released back into the wild. Indians used the darts to hunt mammals and birds. The golden poison frog is endemic to a small area in Colombia, meaning they only live there. Thank goodness. That was the 15 deadliest monsters found in the middle of nowhere. Thanks for watching.